Hi, I'm Dr. Dave from Wedge Mouthpieces. I'm here to talk about the Wedge Chuck Findlay 66 MV trumpet mouthpiece. There are three mouthpieces in the Chuck Findlay line. There's a 66S, a 66M, and a 66MV. Chuck mostly plays the 66M for his everyday mouthpiece, but also has the S for lead. He plays with a number 27 throat, and his particular models have a five degree angle although the mouthpiece is available as a non-angled rim and also with a 10 degree angle. Today we're talking about the most popular of the three models, which is the 66MV. The 66MV has a medium V-shaped cup, sort of similar to a Bach 3C or other similar mouthpiece. It of course has the patented wedge rim with the sloping shoulders at the sides and uh, has a lateral dip of 30,000, which is the sloping you can see in the side view, which is typical of Generation 2 wedge mouthpieces. Viewed from the end in the playing orientation, you can see how the rims slope off to the side, and the cup is an oval shape with the long axis of the oval oriented vertically. I already mentioned that the 66MV is a bit like a little brother to a Bach 3C. I say that because it has a very similar cup depth and shape, but it has an inner diameter which is just slightly smaller than a Bach 3C. Uh, it's also similar to a Schilke 14B, a Yamaha 14B4, a Monette B4S, or a Warburton 4MC. Those would all be similar mouthpieces that the 66MV could replace. The MV indicates a medium cup depth with a slight V-shape at the transition into the throat. So it's not really a V-shaped mouthpiece, it is a modified medium V-shaped mouthpiece. This mouthpiece produces a very nicely balanced sound. It, as I said, sounds a lot like a Bach 3C. It is not as dark as one might want to use in an orchestral setting, although I've certainly used this in the orchestra, especially for uh, more um, commercial uh, pops concerts. Uh, but it performs really well for most players in most playing situations and can be made to work in the orchestra. It can also be made to work as a lead mouthpiece um, and is really well suited for things like brass quintet, concert band, also works well as a piccolo trumpet mouthpiece, so it's a very versatile cup for a wide variety of playing situations. You can see that modified V shape as we toggle back and forth between the MV and M, MV, M, MV cup. For comparison here you can see the 66S cup, which is quite a bit shallower, and is really designed as a lead mouthpiece, not really a mouthpiece suitable for all-round playing. Let's talk about available configurations for a minute. Uh, the 66MV is available as are all wedge trumpet mouthpieces as either a one-piece or a two-piece mouthpiece. The two-piece mouthpieces consist of a top and a separate back bore. The tops can be made of either silver plated brass, black Delrin or clear acrylic. We also make a one-piece Delrin mouthpiece which can be used on its own or in conjunction with a raw brass or silver plated brass tone modifier that slips over the mouthpiece and attaches with a set screw so it can be removed or uh, put back on easily within seconds. The purpose of the tone modifier is to improve the sound and the slotting of the plastic mouthpiece uh, Delrin one-piece mouthpieces tend to sound quite dark and don't slot very securely. The notes are not that well defined and the brass tone modifier brightens the sound and also improves the slotting quite a bit. Mouthpiece uh, backboards can be either regular weight or heavy weight and can be either B-flat length or C-length. The C-length backbore is made by putting a shorter C-length shank on the regular length upper backbore section. This produces a mouthpiece that's about the same length as a Monette B-flat mouthpiece and improves the pitch and slotting of most C trumpets, improving uh, the fourth space E that tends to be flat and also making the C play better in tune. 
Uh, these mouthpieces, as I mentioned before, are also available in either a 5 degree or a 10 degree angled rim, and that option is available either on a top or on a one piece mouthpiece configuration. So, that pretty much wraps up my description of the Chuck Finley 66MV mouthpiece. The recording you hear in the background is actually me playing on a slightly smaller 65MV acrylic top on a medium large heavyweight backbore, just to give you an idea of what this mouthpiece can sound like. If you have questions, you can post them below. You can also contact me by email or by calling our toll free number. If you'd like to have a personal Zoom chat in order to discuss your mouthpiece needs, you can go to the Contact Us page and book it online. Dr. Dave, signing off.